Greetings and well met. My name is Giovanni Scarpati, and I'm a designer on the Hearthstone team. You've been battling in the magic city of Dalaran for some time now, whether dabbling with the dastardly delinquent deeds of the League of Evil, or protecting the proud patrons and people of this prestidigitatious population as a defender of Dalaran. But what exactly is the League of Evil up to? You may ask, is Togwaggle robbing the bank of goods and precious artifacts? Is Hagatha unleashing the denizens of the Violet Hole to distract the guards? Is Dr. Boom looking to strap rockets on the bottom of the floating city and go for a joyride? To which I say, those are some well-educated guesses. The League of Evil is up to no good. All your guesses are correct. They'll be ransacking, reassembling, and robbing in the Dalaran Heist. So, what is it? The Dalaran Heist follows the same core format as the Dungeon Run and Monster Hunt, but is loaded with new features and content. This time, you'll be taken to the streets as one of nine henchmen in the League of Evil, challenging a series of proud defenders of Dalaran who stand in the way of you and your job. In this solo adventure, it all starts with chapters in the book. Each chapter, a different location with a different beat of the story. When we said we wanted to tell the story of Rise of Shadows, the UI and art team took us seriously. Each chapter holds some unique bosses, as well as a unique rule that's present throughout the course of the run. For example, the Violet Hold has imprisoned minions that join later in the fight, while the sewers swap the attack and health of all minions. Drafting feels very different when that Calicos you're about to pick it will be a 10 mana 12-4. As a henchman in the League of Evil, you'll gain access to a loadout system to customize your start. These hero powers and decks will be locked at first, but can be unlocked by completing various mini-quests, like draw 100 cards or freeze 30 minions. This was one of the most requested features, and the first one we worked on. We loved the idea of unique hero powers like those in the Monster Hunt, but wanted them to feel like alternative ways to play as opposed to something that defined our new henchmen. Being evil means being flexible, after all. For example, Rock and Ishu the Mage will have Burning Wit and Frostburn as alternative hero powers, with both drawing from existing mage spell effects. Burning Wit reduces the cost of a card in your hand, while Frostburn freezes a character, or deals two damage if it's already frozen. Job's done. You'll also be able to unlock new starting decks. Each has its own combination of themes and helps you start out in a different direction but it's still up to you to adapt with your choices. Every class also has a random deck, which has been a favorite among many roguelike players on our team. And don't worry, we make sure you start out with a decent curve. Oh, and as a side note, we'll be tracking your victories on all of these, per hero, per location, per hero power, and per deck. That's a lot of tracking. The Dalaran Heist also marks the introduction of some new deck building features in the form of non-combat encounters. As you play through the solo adventure, you'll be able to take breaks to visit various taverns in Dalaran. In here, you'll be given a random assortment of special cards that allow you to manipulate the cards in your deck for the rest of the run. Rakanisu, the scamp from the lab. You always brighten my day. Started with a Murloc Tidehunter in your deck? Dismiss him. Get him out of here. See a juicy looking Ragnaros on the other side of the table? Recruit him to join the side of evil. Thankfully, the tavern keepers in Dalaran don't mind too much where the coin's coming from. It's just good business. Deck manipulation was another highly requested feature that we're happy to bring in. The number of outrageous stories it's already generating amongst the team is just awesome, and I can't wait to see what you'll come up with. Once you've unlocked every chapter, you'll gain access to a new mode we're calling Anomaly Mode. This mode is for players who want to add a little extra spice to their gameplay in the form of a random rule set ranging from tame but odd to almost tavern brawly. The rules swap after each run, so if you see an anomaly that isn't quite to your playstyle, you can always check in again next run. For example, the anomaly Wild Magic causes spells for both players to cast an additional time at a random target, while the anomaly Glittering has both players gaining treasures when they play high-cost cards. You can't get away. You're mine. We've also brought back two familiar difficulty modes, Normal and Heroic. Heroic will be available after completing the corresponding chapter on Normal, but you should expect it to be pretty rough. The first chapter will be available for free with the launch of the Dalaran Heist. In it, you'll be taking on the fiery role of Rakanishu, the mischievous fire elemental who lives in King Togwaggle's lantern, 
as you work your way into the banks of Dalaran to plunder precious gold and artifacts. Once you've gotten to experience the vainglory of villainy, Chapter 2 of this adventure, The Violet Hold, is available for purchase right away. The next three chapters will be released over the following weeks. It's almost showtime for the arch-villain Rafam and his band of irredeemable rapscallions, so I'm going to close the book on the League of Evil for now. The Dalaran heist needs all the help it can get, starting next week. <laughs>